Today on Houston Life, holiday entertaining made easy. We've got simple steps to create a beautiful charcuterie board that is sure to impress your guests. Plus, do you have the guys in your life crossed off your Christmas list? I'm sharing a stocking stuffer under $10, changing the way men approach their hygiene routine. Then the historic deluxe theater is highlighting the true meaning of the holidays with a special stage play, A Crush Christmas. We'll meet the lead actress ahead of opening night. And we are checking out City Lights at Avenida Houston. A look at de the downtown plaza, which has been transformed into the perfect winter wonderland. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Houston Life on this Thursday, December 9th. I'm Courtney Savala. Hi, Courtney. Hi, everybody. I'm Derek Shore. I can't believe it's December 9th. We're almost a third of the way through the month. Christmas Eve, two weeks from tomorrow. I am freaking out. I'm not ready. I'm, I, I'm in a bad way. I'm chasing my tail left and right. Just take a deep breath and drink some eggnog. It's all going to be fine. Listen, it's all going to happen. It's all going to get together. But yeah. listen, you know, this is funny. I went down kind of like nostalgia lane um, because I found a story. One of my very first travel assignments when I was working in Midland, yeah. Was I got to go to the Miss America pageant. I was following Miss Texas. Oh, cool. Over to the East Coast. It was really phenomenal. I mean, it was like a big deal for a young buck reporter, you know, yeah, to be sure. part of the Miss America pageant. Well, y'all, I saw this story today and I literally thought to myself, this is fake news. There's no way this is real. There is a beauty contest for camels in Saudi Arabia and there is an uproar happening because several camels have been barred and banned from this beauty contest. Hold the phone, hold the phone. A beauty contest for camels. Yes, listen, this is a big deal in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> now, Saudi authorities have conducted their biggest ever crackdown, which makes me think that this has happened once before, on camel beauty. The camel beauty contestants actually received Botox injections no. and other artificial touch-ups in the state-run Saudi press agency reported on Wednesday with more than 40, 4-0, camels out of the competition. Why would they inject them with Botox and filler and all of that? I mean, those animals don't want to be poked with needles. They don't, but there's a $66 million prize ticket that goes with this beauty camel pageant. Um, this camel festival actually kicked off earlier in the month. It invites breeders of the most beautiful camels to compete for that prize, I right? See. So they're judged on full lips and all these other things. Well, how do you get full lips Is there if your camel doesn't have, I mean... The filler and the Botox. The wow. Uh, so a, a talent competition, is that included in this pageant? Oh. Because it just seems like well, no listen, camel beauty pageant is complete without a talent. The, um, so here's the thing. Uh, Botox harder. injections, facelift, facelifts, and other cosmetic alterations are making camels more attractive. They're strictly, strictly prohibited in this contest. Jurors decide the winner based on the shape of the camel's heads, necks, humps, dress, and postures. Carry on. <laughs> wow. Listen. Can you even believe? I mean, I literally went down the rabbit hole. I in guess this one. we just don't know. I mean, but now we do. We the do. The they camels. sure are cute, though. Pumps. Look. They're so cute. They're perfect the way they are. They don't need any Botox. No. I might need some, but. Camel certainly. We do, do a two not. for one. Let's let's try that. Okay. Well, thank you for bringing us uh, this news this morning. You know, I was on the phone with Lewis. Oh, and best friend Lewis. Best friend Lewis, and he was talking about his and just like that party he will be throwing tonight. It was a reminder that folks, for Sex and the City fans, two new episodes have dropped this morning. Producer Beatrice, you watched them this morning? I watched them this morning. You okay, watched them before this, work? Before work, because oh, maybe one up. Yeah, okay, okay. I can't, I haven't seen it yet. That is a dedicated fan. Totally. So Producer B says already, even two episodes in, there's already been a plot twist, yes. right? We can't say more than that. And so here's what happens. So okay. HBO on the app, I guess they roll out new episodes for most of their shows around 3 a.m. Eastern time. So 
In keeping with that tradition, the first two episodes of the brand new series, they are out. And then weekly, every Thursday, we'll get to see a new episode. I can't wait to watch. Me too. I, you know, I love them all, but I'm a huge SJP fan. Oh. I love Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker. And they say some twists and turns, all kinds of surprises in this series. Kim Cattrall. I don't know if she's one of them. I don't think she's part of the show. No, she's not. Yeah, I think I there's think some sort of feud happening. But SJP has said, hey, Kim, come back. Be part of the girls again. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. Can't wait to watch that. Now, you know how things are tracked or you, you hit Google and, and search things? Yeah. This was crazy. So think about all the things that you've searched on Google. How to do this, how to do that, how to pronounce this. Well, there is a list of the most searched 90s Christmas movies, and it's all done by state. Oh, okay. What's ours? It's data collected, and I, you know what? I'm I don't agree with ours. You're suspicious. I am suspicious. Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's the most searched. Really? Is Texas? Okay, but that one also didn't a lot of other states also search that same like movie? Well, I think so. I think so, but I'm um, yeah, but I'm surprised that it's here. Like California, New Mexico, yeah. Arizona, they all seemed to have Ala searched the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, Alaska, Home Alone. It's 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 like a split. A lot more Home Alones than mm. than anything. Oh, Home Alone is such a good one. It's such a good movie. It is. So there you go. That's all the news you can use today. Wait, Camels. So you, <laughs> the Camel Beauty Pageant. <laughs> Seriously. I thought, no, it's not good. You didn't like it? No, no, it's good. I'm just not, I'm just going to What's your favorite Christmas I'm movie? I'm not going to. I think Home Alone, it's just so much fun. And I don't know, I, I, probably Home Alone takes the cake. Yeah. I've watched it a hundred times. It never, never gets old. What about yours? Well, I mean, I, I, I would say home, C Christmas Vacation. Okay. It depends on if you want campy or romantic. Did you ever see The Holiday? With Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet oh, yeah, and where Jude they swap Law homes, and Jack Black. Right? Yeah, where they go across the pond. That one's a good one, too. That it's is a good one. Would you ever, I would never do that, though. I would never swap a house with somebody. Well, it's just, just like an Airbnb. I guess. But didn't they actually, they actually knew, like, they... I don't think they knew each other. I think they were just looking at listings, decided to swap. Yeah, from that side of the pond, from England to L.A. Okay. Yeah, it worked out. Least favorite holiday film? I don't know if I have one. Do, okay. I, do you have one? Mm -mm. No, I don't think no, so. No, they're all fabulous. Yeah, they're all Love anything you, Last night I did watch Single All the Way. Brandon and I stayed up funny. late. Have you all seen that? Single All the Way with Jen Coolidge? Oh my gosh. It's, re it's really sweet. It's a romantic comedy. It's sweet. Good. It's yeah. a good one. It's sort of like a Hallmarky. It's a little cheesy. But um, it's good. Uh, Love Hard with Heather McMahon. Watch that one. It's funny. Okay. It's a good one. It is That's a Christmas. It's, it's a Chris during the Christmas season. Anyway, okay. Still to come, what was the last thing you Googled? Huh. That's a good question. It is. We are sharing the top search terms online. Okay, but for now, let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who has plenty of downtown activities to make our family season bright. Hi, Lauren. You guys, look at all of these magnificent Christmas trees right here. City lights at Avenida Houston downtown. I've got an entire list the entire family can enjoy this holiday season. Lots of stuff to do downtown here in Houston. I'll tell you all about it when Houston Life returns. Coming up next. Carol Burnett age, Lucille Ball death, Africa countries map. These are just some of the things I've Googled within the past few days. Very relevant. Very, very relevant. <laughs> Inquiring minds <laughs> want to know, right? So every year at the end of the year, Google reveals their top search terms. And here's the thing. So they break it down by category, right? And so I pulled it up. They break it down from like, you know, cooking, movies, right. celebrities, people. all those things. So the list, guys, it, it's actually really funny. So like for people who typed in how to style, the top returns for how to style were how to style straight leg jeans. Oh my gosh. Number two on the list, how to style a wolf haircut. <laughs> Number three, oh, oh. <laughs> how to style a corset. Oh my gosh. Under the how to pronounce category, how to pronounce uh, Dogecoin, mm -hmm. how to pronounce Michael Jackson was number two. What? I don't, I don't know. Number three was how to pronounce quinoa. Okay. Four, how to pronounce Kamala. Mm -hmm. She pronounces it Kamala Harris versus Kamala, as many folks do. How to pronounce, pronounce Elon Musk's son's name. 
So there, it's you. It's a fascinating list, and Google Trends has the full list broken down by category. It's really fun. The one cat, one uh, that I thought was really interesting: how to be more attractive. Oh, I clicked on that link to see, like, do they give you this information? And what you know? was there? Well, on on this page that we brought that we were looking at, when you click on the link, it tells you what state. And uh, there are multiple states that look this up. How many? With lots of people asking the same question. Illinois, the number one state. Searching that, how to be more attractive. Yeah. And I guess, you know, Illinois versus Texas versus New York versus California, maybe the definition of attractive, uh, you know, maybe it varies. I do take great comfort in knowing that many people are learning how to style their wolf haircuts. Wolf now. haircut, very important. That's very, very, very on good. trend. Every skill, I mean, we thought we'd, we need it. <laughs> Let's check in with Joe Sam, who has our question of the day. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah, Google will tell you everything. We want to hear from you. What's the last thing that you Googled? Everybody's sending in some amazing answers. Beatrice, she writes in, how to boil eggs? I know all this happens all the time. It blows up on everyone. We have Julie writes in, you don't want to know. Okay, we may have a list for Julie. We have Melissa coming in. She writes in what the ratio was for as uh, aspirin to water for pimples that I saw on your show. Oh, oh, was yes. that something that we did? Okay. That's a good tip from Dr. Ingerham. Yeah. Awesome. Lisa, she writes in what time does Whataburger stop serving breakfast? Mm. All day long, right? That's always the answer for these questions here because I love Whataburger. Of course, we want you guys to head over to our Houston Life Space Facebook page, join that conversation, and we'll share more of your comments a little later on in the show. I have a new dog as well as everybody knows, so I've been Googling heartworms because okay. he has his heartworm treatment coming up. I don't know anything about it, so a lot of new stuff I'm learning from Google about dogs. Some stuff I don't want to know, though. Mine, is, <laughs> mine was how to do uh, reindeer mix or rain I forget oh, like the trail Puppy chow, mix thing? like the yeah for oh. with Chex mix like a Chex oh, yeah. mix yeah, yeah but stuff. it's like reindeer reindeer food I think that's what they call it for well, the holidays that stuff is delicious the bad news though I do believe Whataburger stops serving breakfast what? at 11 a.m. really I thought yeah. it was all day no Joe I don't think so it's all, it, night. It's all night so you can start at 11 p.m. Oh. but at 11 a.m. they cut it off well then that's kind of so bad I thought it was all day long <laughs> well, listen just hey, wait hey, till tonight that's news for me too that's why we love Google right <laughs> Joe thanks a lot Absolutely. Well, this holiday season, downtown, of course, is brighter and bigger than ever with festive destinations to make special memories that really will last a lifetime. It really is so beautiful, especially so this year. You can take a stroll through beautiful light displays, enjoy live weekend entertainment, savor tasty bites at a special discount along the Avenida. And that's exactly where we find our Lauren Kelly this afternoon. Lauren, you chose one of my favorite spots. You guys, the Avenida right here outside of George R. Brown is completely decorated this holiday season, and there is so much for you and your entire family to come out and see with activities. Of course, you know that the Ice and Discovery Green is there, the Hilton is there, the marquee with the big Texas-shaped pool, but the city lights are really what we want you to get out and come and see and enjoy this year. And Public Relations Director, this is Jenny Bui McCoy. Hi. Tell our viewers all about city lights. Yeah, so, you know, it's hard to believe that we are just days away from from Christmas. I know. <laughs> and, you know, it's been a very funky year, to say the least. Right. But, you know, we are blessed that we have this amazing campus, if you will. And we call it a campus because it's the area right in front of George R. Brown. And it's just programmed with, like, a variety of holiday-friendly activities for everyone. So we're inside the GRB right now. Yes. And these Christmas trees are kind of lined up against the big window walls. Yes. And they kind of represent all the things Houston that we love. We saw the Rockets one a little bit earlier. Around yeah. the corner, there's an Astros, uh, there's a Dynamo one. And then speaking of the arts, this is the Little Mermaid, which is the under the sea show happening at Tuts, right? Very much so. And the Christmas trees are one of our favorite things to highlight just because they're decorated by different community centers. Right. Families also have really participated. This is a 30 year tradition. So that's why they're all a little bit different. And then we have this grand display as well. So it's very nostalgic. Think about New York and like yes. the grand window scape. Yes, absolutely. You don't have to drive to New York yes, or you're, fly. You're not driving, you can it's park here. just get right here. Right. Don't go anywhere, Jenny, because a couple of minutes yep. later on in the show, we're gonna head over inside the Hilton Americas, one of our favorite places. Check out the yep. chocolate over there, the beautiful lights inside, and get some great ideas on yes. holiday staycations. I've got some Christmas trees to look at, get a little ideas for the decor, but for now, back to you guys in the studio, Derek and Courtney. They really are so beautiful, Lauren. Very nice. Thanks so much. When we come back, day seven 
of my 12 days of stocking stuffers. Day seven, we are underway with this one. And this one's for the guys. I'm yes. gonna share, I know, I'm gonna share a local product that will have them smelling like a champ. Yeah, it's good stuff. You don't wanna miss it. Also, the health journey of a 21-year-old on her way to recovery after a debilitating diagnosis. Houston Life will be right back. Well, welcome back. It is day seven of my 12 days of stocking stuffers. I've curated the perfect gift list that will cover all your bases from local businesses to help us all shop small this holiday season. And today I'm highlighting a natural product, raising the bar for the men's grooming industry, coming to us by way of One Hip Mom. I love this boutique founded by local mom, Vicki Robinson. One Hip Mom aims to find pieces that really make, to be, make you feel special and hip of course, from clothing to accessories and even products for men. She specializes in this and makes her boutique truly a one-stop shop for moms on the go. Okay, this is the big product for men. Derek is a fan of this one. And as we take a look at the product here, this is Dr. Sasquatch Soap. And the mission is to change the way men approach their personal care. It's an all-natural soap company for dudes. You can choose from heavy grit, medium grit, to no grit soap. So that means it's just not gonna have kind of an exfoliator in it if you want the no grit. Get your guys several bars to try, and don't forget, of course, the handmade Cedar Block Soap Saver. This is really important to help extend the soap's life and also reduce that soap scum in the shower. You're seeing all the different, you guys, this smells so good. By the way, I'm super excited about this. Um, there's all kinds of different scents here. We have eucalyptus and Greek yogurt, the deep sea one, um, cool fresh aloe, which has that kind of cooling sensation, sensation to it. The soaps are just $7 a bar. The soap saver, which is right here, um, let's see if you can see it. Well, I'll wait till the camera moves. Um, it's this right here. I didn't want to pick it up. But this is the soap saver right here, the cedar, um, which keeps that right there in your shower, so you're not going to get all the yucky stuff um, in it. And the soap saver is 15 It is a great, great option. Here's how to order. You can simply head to One Hip Mom, the boutique in Spring Cypress in Klein, Texas, or head to their website, onehipmom.com. Easy, easy, easy. And even if you have teenagers, I gotta tell you, this is a must have for day seven. Okay, tomorrow we have another great stocking stuffer from a local business. And if you miss any of these items over the last six days, you can find them all on houstonlife.tv or scan that QR code on your screen. It's gonna take you to the complete list. Plus, have you heard? There's an opportunity for one lucky KPRC2 insider to win all 12 days of my stocking stuffers. You gotta be an insider to win though. We're gonna send things over to Derek. All right, Courtney, thank you for that. You chose a really good one today. Every day has been great, though. Moving now to your health. If you are experiencing symptoms like nausea, bloating, or heartburn, it may prevent you from doing everyday things you love. And that was the case for our next guest. Here to share her story is Danny Hertel, along with Dr. Brooks Cash, UT Health gastroenterologist affiliated with Memorial Hermann. Welcome to you both. Dr. Cash, we will get to you in just a moment. But Danny, first, let's start with you. You're 21 years old. About a year ago, in December 2020, your body started telling you something was wrong. What were your symptoms? What happened? So the first and most major symptom I had was I was just nauseous all the time. Like nothing was letting me get that relief. I was nauseous all the time. And then I got really full really fast. I started eating kids meals everywhere. And even half of the kids meal would make me super full for hours. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And I was in and out of the hospital about eight times with extreme bloating and nausea and everything. And that's pretty much all. Yeah, I looked pregnant. I got asked several times if I was pregnant. Um, but yeah, I had to drop out of school for the semester because I couldn't go anywhere. I lost 30 pounds. Um, it just, it was not a fun year. I thought I was gonna escape 2020 unscathed and I did not. <laughs> well, and I can imagine that all of this physical pain must have been really tough on your, your mental health. You, you suffered from an extreme amount of anxiety, worried that something was really wrong with you. 
Exactly. Yes, I was. Uh, I went to see a psychologist. They diagnosed me with an eating disorder because I didn't want to eat because everything made me feel so terrible. And so it was really hard to do like everyday things that normal 21 year old kids would do. I turned 21. I couldn't even celebrate turning 21 with a drink or anything. Oh, my gosh. Well, I hope you get a nice do over this year. Dr. Cash, let's chat about Danny's situation. So when you first met her, she came to see you. What were you able to diagnose her with? Well, we ended up diagnosing Danny with uh, with something called functional dyspepsia, which is a very common disorder. Somewhere between about 10 and 15 percent of the population actually suffers from functional dyspepsia and its corollary, which is in the lower GI tract, irritable bowel syndrome. And, and as you are showing right now, those are the common symptoms of functional dyspepsia. It's not a diagnosis that can be made right away. It's actually this in particular is a diagnosis of exclusion. We have to rule out common things, other common things like uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease or heartburn. We have to rule out GI infections. We have to exclude uh, other motility abnormalities, such as delayed gastric emptying that we can see in some patients either after an infection or more commonly in patients with uh, diabetes. So all of those things were going through our, our minds when we evaluated her and, and of course did some diagnostic testing to exclude some of those things. And at the same time embarked on a therapeutic journey as well to try and get her feeling better. And doctor, a lot of our issues that we have in our digestive tract, they can be related. Things like stomach ulcers, acid reflux, that can contribute also IBS I mean that's that's actually more common than we like to think yes it is irritable bowel syndrome is incredibly common again similar numbers about 10 to 15 percent of the population the hallmark of irritable bowel syndrome which is what I call functional dyspepsia of the lower GI tract is that it's associated with abdominal pain and abnormal bowel habits and we I, you know I'll, I'll spare the audience a lot more details but I think you can imagine what those might be but it runs the gamut from one end or, or one set a side of the spectrum to the other in terms of diarrhea constipation but it's associated with abdominal pain and the symptoms that the danny had are very very common to that as well the bloating the uh fear of eating and the and you know the the worsening of her symptoms with eating uh those sorts of symptoms are very common to both of these conditions and they're and they are connected because they're really what we call disorders of gut brain interaction and the crosstalk between the central nervous system which does the processing of symptoms and uh, sensation and the enteric nervous system or the gut nervous system. Well, we mentioned, Danny, uh, you're 21 years old. We only have about a minute left. Uh, but doctor, this is something that can affect anyone at any age. What are some of the treatments available? Because at the end of the day, if people don't feel good and they're not out living their life, then that's going to affect all aspects of their lives. So, so how do we treat it? There are a number of different prescription therapies. There's also some dietary therapies. I think the thing that I would really encourage the audience to do is don't ignore these symptoms. Talk to your doctors about it. Uh, you know, these can be, they're very vague symptoms. They can be signs of something else. They need to be evaluated. And they have a tremendous, as, as Danny mentioned, a tremendous impact on quality of life. And we can improve that. If we can make the diagnosis and, and get patients treated appropriately, we can really improve their quality of life and get them moving back to living a normal 21 year old life. And that is such good news. Danny, we're out of time, uh, but very quickly before we let you both go, Danny, how are you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling so much better. I've gained all my weight back and I'm eating again. <laughs> okay, well, that is great news. We'll have a New Year's Eve do over this year. You can have a toast. Uh, Dr. Brooks Cash, Danny Hertel, thank you both so much for your time today. Thank you so much. And for more information, you can visit memorialherman.org slash refer dash EDDC, or you can call 713-704-3450. Now let's check in with Joe, who's highlighting a brand new Christmas play. Hi, Joe. Hey, Derek. Yeah, coming up, the Deluxe Theater is kicking off its kids program with a huge production. I'll tell you how your family can check out some talented kids with the theater's magical playwright of a crushed Christmas. And we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at 4 including how you can prioritize yourself from porch powers, or protect yourself rather from porch powers. Houston Life is back in two minutes.
Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you 3.30 on this Friday Eve. What do you say we get more of your comments on today's question of the day? What is the last thing you Googled? Beverly, who has a beautiful profile photo of those roses, she writes Olive Garden curbside family meal ordered for tree decoration night. That's a love fun tradition. I love that. Do you get the endless breadsticks when you do the curbside? Oh, I hope so. I Someone hope so just too. sit outside the door then yeah. in their breadstick car? <laughs> you sit on the curb all night. <laughs> Jana writes in Houston Life website to look up something I saw on your show. Oh, that's sweet, Jana. Thanks, Thank Jana. You. And Alan writes in, specs near me. That, that is a good thing to search. I think I have the map burned into the back of my hands. <laughs> Midtown on Smith. I love it. Jenny writes in, Frank's weather forecast, looking for some cooler temps. Me too, oh. Jenny. Okay. For sure. Those are all good stuff, and we love that you guys jump in on the conversation, of course, on our Facebook page. Let's check in now with Keith, Lauren, and Justin for a look at what they have coming up for the news at the top of the hour. Hi, guys. Yeah, I don't think cooler temps are in the... In, in, in the works, so at least not, not for the, uh, the not rest of the day. day. I was like, or tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the days of AOL when it would just show you that like 504 file not found. Right? <laughs> That's where the cool temps are. The kids yeah. are like, huh? <laughs> Look it up on the Google machine. You know what oh. I'm talking about. So, yeah, it's not gonna happen today, guys. Yeah. It, it's like Oprah here. It's like you get a record, you get a record, you get, <laughs> everybody's got it today. Warm. They're out there. I'm trying to think. What was the last thing? So standard wise, it, it, as you said, Derek. Yeah, it, Smith specs. That's my go-to man. I I don't need I don't need no Google for that. I know where it is. It's a good one, and the people they're so friendly. They're it's like friendly. going home. Yeah, it's fantastic. Great cheese selection there too, by the way. Oh yeah, and uh, good sandwiches. Also, in the uh, back. Oh yeah, great sandwiches. I would say that 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 as a staple, the uh, Houston Transtar map. It absolutely. If you do not have that bookmarked on your Google, you should because <laughs> it'll show you where you need to avoid. Uh, and what would be the other one I would say? Oh, Harry Styles sweatshirts. I was looking for my daughter too. She's a little obsessed with them. <laughs> Gotta have I found those. one though. I was very excited. Anyway, let's get to the weather guys here. Look at the, look at these temperatures. I mean, goodness. 84, 86, 84, 76 in Galveston. One of the spots that's got a little bit of fog sitting just offshore. So that's kept the temperatures in check, but that is it. Other than that, it is widespread 80s. This almost like we'd be talking in what, late May versus the middle of December at this point, as you might expect. Uh, those are records. Uh, tying the record at Bush, that's 84. The, the hobby blew theirs about three hours ago at about 12 o'clock. 84 was the old record. 86 is what we're sitting at right now. 79 in Galveston, they've gone down just a bit, but that also broke the record back in 2004. So, Super warm out there. A few light showers south of Bay City that we've been watching as well. That's about it. The bigger story is going to be the heat again for tomorrow and then eventually as we get that front to come crashing through here. What's interesting, and we'll talk about this coming up at 4 o'clock, this 66 will likely be in the morning and expect it to drop into the 50s as we get into the afternoon. So you want to talk about a 30 degree temperature swing over about a 24 hour period is basically what we're going to be dealing with. So let me show you the timeline of this. As I mentioned, I'm going to take hour by hour coming up at four o'clock and we'll get into more of the details of it. But Friday night through sunrise Saturday. So the good news is it shouldn't impact much of your Saturday afternoon. However, uh, the cooler air will for sure. College Station about 10 o'clock to 1 a.m. 2 to 4 into downtown. The coast by about 8 and it is going to get real gusty in behind that as well. And uh, Keith and Laura, that's part of the problem is, is that it's been so warm. People are like, you know, you have brought out the real heavy sweaters. You may need them as we get into Saturday afternoon. So we've got a lot more on that and obviously we'll see just just how high some of these temperatures can go. Hopefully, I think this time of year they've topped out, but it's been, it's been quite an afternoon for us here. All time record highs today at Hobby. How about that? Oh, wow. Well, Not yeah, surprised. Say, it yeah. was hot out there. All right, Justin, thank you. All right, we're following some breaking news for the news at four. An investigation now underway after a plane crash in West Harris County. Right now, we know two people were killed in that crash. Sky 2 was over the scene just a bit ago, which is just behind the Precinct 5 Constable's office near Highway 6. This was a small single engine Cessna, a live report coming up at four. Plus, it's that time of year. Porch pirates hit their stride around the Christmas holidays. We're going to take a look at five steps that you can take to help Ensure that your packages delivered to your doorstep do not get stolen. And it's the great camel escape. This video had several folks in the newsroom cracking up this afternoon where this guy was supposed to be when he decided to make a break for it and visit a golf course and some nearby neighbors. You do not want to miss this one. These stories, much more coming up today on the News at 4. We've seen a lot of steer, you know, a lot of cattle. Yeah. That's first time Listen, I've seen a camel on the road. Listen, it's probably running from Botox and fillers. That camel did not want to partake in the camel beauty pageant. I, I have heard about that. Oh, my I get goodness. it. That's serious. Wow. I, I've, I didn't think it was a real camel at first, but oh, it clearly it is. is. Wow. 
Watch out, Derek. Yesterday yeah. was hump day, though, not today. <laughs> exactly, yes. This I'm here been all great week. If it happened yesterday. <laughs> it did? Well, I was just no, thinking. I was saying, it would have been great if it happened yesterday. It I was just thinking, story, I was yes. like, man, he missed his calling. You should have been did. on Wednesday, right? <laughs> I want to do play by play. Okay, guys, we'll see you at the top of the hour. <laughs> We only have one hump day per week, not two humps, right? Okay, <laughs> just to clear that up. So the historic deluxe theater's new play is called A Crush Christmas, and it's attracted talented performers from around the city. Well, this is a play about a young girl named Crush and how her Christmas is crushed by an unexpected guest. Oh. Joe Sam is here with more. Hi, Joe. Yeah, you guys, we're going to be talking about this new kids program that they're doing at the Deluxe. It's called the Deluxe Kids, and it's aiming to provide a platform for kids to experience the magic of the arts, just like the show's director and other production members have. I went backstage during their rehearsals to see just how much these talented kids have learned. <laughs> Crush is a girl who all she wanted to for Christmas is her real family, but because she was an adopted child, but she never got what she wanted and she never got Christmas presents, so she actually acts like a brat in the beginning of the story. It's amazing to see the different parts that we've been working with, the kids, the singing, the acting, the blocking, all of that, and now actually seeing them knowing their lines and coming together. So it's, it's been a great experience, and I'm just looking forward to the production. Wow. I started singing when I was eight years old. I actually started directing the choir at church when I was 13. And I participated in marching band and went to Prairie View marching the marching storm at PV. So music is, is in my pedigree. And I'm, I'm just excited to be able to share what I have with the kids. I used to ride past the Deluxe Theater and I was like, I want to do a play there. I get characters from friends, you know, just seeing how friends um, and family act when we had Christmas gatherings. But this particular play, like I say, is just something for the children. There's a lot of talent out here in Fifth Ward and the Fifth Ward area. I've seen it firsthand. I've worked in the community. Just being able to always come back and bring something different, that's just my dream and my goal. It actually makes me feel like I have enough courage to go and pursue my dreams because when I grow up, I want to be a choreographer. So this right now is actually the perfect opportunity because my dance group I know is going to be performing here and I'm the dance captain at my school. So we've been working on the choreography and I've actually made some of it. So this is actually helping me pursue my dreams. I am very excited and very prepared. Y'all hear her, she says she's very prepared. Now, Crush Christmas will debut at the Deluxe Theater on Lions Avenue December 17th and 18th at 7.30 p.m. And an additional performance will happen on the morning of the 18th at 11 for their gingerbread benefit brunch to see these talented young kids perform in action. I'll have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. So you guys met Marquise, who is the director and the creator for this play. He did the men's calendar. The and firefighters. Yeah, the firefighters. Not only is he a model now, he's a firefighter, and now he's a director for the play. But the kids are the spotlight here. They're the stars. They're really talented. And her dance moves. Oh, yeah. All that, so good. She's pursuing her dreams, and she's doing it so well. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I can't wait to go and see it. These kids are going to do an incredible job here at the Deluxe Theater. And they're performing on stage, the same stage Aretha Franklin I and everybody know. else performed in that same location. The history oh, is fantastic. Love and love catching up with Marquise, Absolutely. Too. He's Joe, great. Thanks. Yeah. All right, coming up, we are learning how to create a beautiful and delicious holiday charcuterie board. There's Leanne Chitania right there. She's going to teach us how to become the hostess with the mostest. How does that sound? Oh, I cannot wait. More in Houston Life when we return. If you are planning a holiday gathering at home, whether big or small, a charcuterie board is guaranteed to impress any guest. It sure does. To help us all choose the best cheeses and pantry ingredients to create this beautiful charcuterie board, cookbook author Leanne Chetanier joins us now with her pro tips. It is so great to have you back in studio. I am so happy to be here. Thank you guys for having me. Of course, and congrats on the cookbook. And Thank you. I mean, yeah. looks amazing. 
Uh, we don't even know where to begin with this. Yeah, and this can be overwhelming. I know a lot of our viewers have probably attended parties or maybe tried to create one of these themselves. You've sort of broken it down, Leanne, into yes. some easy to understand and follow steps. Yeah, it really is pretty simple. So the key is having, you know, a variety of textures and flavors. I like to have, you know, four to five cheeses on hand, some soft, some hard, um, like a good stinky cheese on there. You got to kind of have a, that variety for everybody. Um, and then from there, I choose seasonal ingredients so it depends on the time of year so this is more of a holiday charcuterie so we're using lots of reds and greens jewel tones um, things like that so for cheeses um, we have some brie cheese we have goat cheese we have a sharp cheddar a dill Havarti and then like a Merlot cheese it's very similar to like a Parmesan um, so a little bit something for everybody I love I mean obviously the color um, palette here but that you use the pomegranates and grapes and yeah. there really is something and that's the key to a charcuterie a yeah. good one there's something for everybody yes yeah for sure and it doesn't have to be like I said it doesn't have to be complicated there's no special tool you need here there's nothing anybody can do this out of their own kitchen right. and that's what I love about it so um, you can do things like adding honeycomb to brie which we can start a board here if okay we, you guys want to start this so sure. um, I like to start with the cheeses so just kind of you know grab whatever cheeses you want to start with you can okay. start with the brie first can we grab this entire hunk you can just free? yep you can do that okay but how do I know where to put I it I know that's my other thing about placement so I think the brie is kind of the star of the show so I like to put it in a focal area okay, so you so can do it in the center or up center. front yes okay yep and then you can slice that right in half and do it I like to just cut it right here into triangles and then people can just get their oh, their I see. own yeah, serving it to make right. it yeah. easier for yep. people. Um, and then you can grab like that sharp cheddar right there okay um, and you can just kind of fan it out so I just like to make it pretty by just kind of of, you know, literally take it like that and just fan it down okay. and it, it'll just oh. kind of do its own thing. Okay. Yeah, just, that's fine. It's just okay. like that. Yes, you just line it up. And the There's fun no part right is or you wrong. Can snack along the way, right? Oh, I mean, you can that's eat a, the ingredients. That's a requirement, yes. Okay. Um, and then we can get that Merlot cheese next because we need it like that's a good triangle a piece. Yes, that's a Merlot. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. I'll set that there. We're wash our hands. Um, and then I have a goat cheese with just some fig jam on top, which you can just grab a little fork and put that on there. Um, okay. You could use a pepper jelly here. You could do any other jam that you have in your in your fridge so again so just kind of my favorite yeah me too I love it so many people love yes. that too um, and so we have a dill Havarti you can just kind of pile it up so that's my favorite tip for if you are um, have a block of cheese chopping it just in dices like that okay. super super easy so um, and then next we'll layer in our meats Oh. which will go next so you just kind of layer them around the cheese so that's kind of the way I form my board so you do your cheeses then you do your meats Okay. and then we can add in our bowls of olives and, and such. any particular meats I mean clearly this is a salami we've got a prosciutto I yep. think um, you're just going to use a different variety right yeah any kind of cured meats that you prefer that will be fine okay sort of like like putting together a puzzle yes right? exactly we, we want to cover the whole board basically so next we can go with, in with our bowls and that um, honeycomb can just go right on top of that brie so take this out just, of the bowl right yep, just take that right on top and then it'll honeycomb. just and then people can just kind of tear it off as they get their cheese and it just is really really delicious look how pretty that is yeah too. okay now you have some olives and also some little mozzarella cheese balls yes. soaking in olive oil and those we're just going to put right on the board as is okay so we can just take these yep just containers just puzzle them right in there oh i see so and if you had a like work your way in yeah and if you have to adjust something that's fine um, right. and if you had a baguette that's great to dip in there too for the bread um, and then next we're gonna do our fruit so then again we're just gonna layer in the fruit where we want it we want to kind of you know spread out the green spread out the reds just make it really really beautiful okay um, and if it doesn't all fit that's fine but but the layering and you kind of want to use uh, height as well too, yes. right uh-huh yep it's all about height texture and shapes and we're seeing on the screen right now Leanne this is your complete completed board yes. using virtually the same ingredients yeah. Courtney and I are using right now yep. so there's really not a lot of rhyme or reason to it as you as you create the board you want every space pretty much to be filled yes right? yep yep that's that's the only thing there and I think you know once you kind of get the hang of it it becomes something you can just pull out on a drop of a hat when a friend's popping over right you know stock your pantry with a variety of olives nuts dried fruits um, crackers and then you know always have a few cheeses and whatnot and you can make a beautiful board it looks so 
fantastic. out easily. Just a little hint, though. We recommend that it should be out for about two hours max. Anything yes. after that, you're going to have to yep. toss out. It's probably not great. Let's talk about uh, modern Cajun cooking. I cook a lot of your recipes. Yeah. I love them. They're foolproof and super excited about your cookbook. Thank you so much. I'm excited. Um, it's got great holiday menu items in there, too. There's an appetizer chapter. There's a cocktail chapter. So really something for everybody in that book, too. Well, and a great way to make memories, too, because you could take maybe a family dessert to mm -hmm. someone and then yeah. give them the cookbook for the yes. stocking stuffer, Such teach them how great. to make it. Yes. Another great gift idea would be given a board mm -hmm. and some cheeses with a bottle of wine. I love Such that. Such a great That's holiday it. gift idea. And I love some yeah. of your recipes in there. They are family favorites. Yes. I know you talk a lot about your family, yep. your grandma, and your mom. Thanks so much, Leanne. Oh, it was great yeah. to catch up with you. I'm so happy to be here, y'all. Thanks happy for lunch, holidays. too. Thank I know. You so much. Yes. To dive Enjoy. In. Modern Cajun cooking is now available on Amazon and major online bookstores. To see the complete, complete ingredient list for the charcuterie board, head over to our website, HoustonLife.tv. So many delicious bites. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> now, why don't we check in with Lauren Kelly, who's got details on some fun winter activities you can find downtown. Hey, Lauren. You guys are very familiar with this sugar chocolate display here at the Hilton Americas. Well, we're telling you the city lights downtown, when you come out and see them, great staycation packages here and the marquee with that big Texas swimming pool. More info when Houston Life returns in just a few minutes. Houston is happening now and there is so much fun to be had for the entire family and it's all presented by Houston First and Jenny is joining us today. She's the public relations director and we've just been talking about all the amazing things happening outdoors yeah. here in your just little square area right outside the GRB on Avenida Houston. Right, right. So the area right in front is called Avenida Houston and we call it a campus for many reasons because there's so many zones if you will. Um, lots of activity for the family yep. to come on down. Right now now we are inside of the Hilton Americas Hotel. It's one yes. of my favorites in town. I know one of yours too. Yes. We have to not only talk about their beautiful display. I mean, every holiday you guys do it here the right way. Yes. The Christmas tree is up and we're just going to kind of walk through these beautiful lights yes. that are inside the hotel. Of course, we already showed off the chocolate yes. display that's at the front. Staycation packages here. Staycation. So one of the exciting things that we have now are great packages for the whole family. In fact, you can have breakfast with Santa. There's a spa here for mom and she just needs oh, to kick yes. her feet up um, <laughs> and so it's just steps from Discovery Green as well right, which right. is really great and convenient. Okay and you mentioned Discovery Green of mm -hmm. course the ice of Discovery Green that's yes. open through I believe next month so you have plenty of time to plenty get down of time. and skate in our 80 degree weather here. Okay. <laughs> yes. But also we got to mention that the the marquee with the Texas pool it's yes. the Marriott marquee. Yes. Great Texas winter lights happening there as well. Very much so there's movies on the rooftop the Texas pool is heated in case we get a close oh, yeah, oh, yeah, like we need it to be heated okay <laughs> and then um, just fun activities again for the whole family to enjoy something really quickly that you guys just told me about with the yes. Houston Opera so tonight is the grand or the opening night of the Grand Opera um, it's snowy day but there's an actual snow pit real snow real snow real like snow. cold icy snow yes oh, okay fluffy icy in snow in our 80 degree weather yes. we can do that Jenny yes. thank you so much thank there's you. so much to do city lights here at Avenida Houston yes. all the info is online visit Houston Texas Dot com for more info. Throwing it back to you guys in studio while we celebrate the holidays here. <laughs> it is picture perfect, Lauren. So I love it all. Beautiful. All right, yeah. Lauren, thanks. After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including a holiday performance live in studio. And as we had to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on entertainment tonight, including a look at a new holiday movie. Hi, Kevin. Courtney and Derek tonight on ET. The next chapter of Sex in the City begins. We're with Sarah Jessica Parker at her New York premiere. Plus, Aunt Anstead tells us why the holidays are going to be extra merry. Then, from Lifetime's Blending Christmas, Haley Duff and Marla Sokoloff guest co host. That's tonight at 6 30 right here on KPRC2. Now, sit tight. Houston Life will be right back.
Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, the touching story behind Mahesh's Kitchen. It's a new Indian restaurant in Sugarland, spreading love, joy, and of course, some tasty food. Plus, meet a local great grandfather on a quest to get his Christmas song heard around the world. We're going to get a final look at what you had to say about our question of the day. On Facebook, we asked, What is the last thing you Googled? We're going to start with Sandra, who says, Can a regular car jump over a big ditch? Oh, no. And and Sandra, what was the response <laughs> to that question? Please tell me you did not try it. Greg writes in Houston bars with hot bartenders. Greg, you are oh so funny. Okay. Ignacio writes in, when is 290 going to be finished? I'm sure that answer was blank. <laughs> yeah. Somehow it always just takes a little bit longer. It takes I a know. little bit longer. How about you? I'm always searching like restaurant hours. You know, are they available now or delivery? So I can't think of one thing. I mean, I told you about the reindeer food that I want to make this weekend. Yeah, the I know it is puppy so chow, good. but it, they call it reindeer mix, I guess, for Christmas. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Well, especially during the pandemic, a lot of the restaurant hours have changed. Like some of our favorite spots, they're closed now on Mondays and Tuesdays because they simply just don't have the staff to support a full seven days. So, you know. That's right. All right, day seven of our stocking stuffers in the books. Head over to our website. You'll see the full list there. And this is all about shopping local and shopping small this holiday season. Plus, all the clips from today's show are there as well. Yeah, and don't forget, if you haven't already, join our KPRC2 Insider Program because if you want to win all 12 of Courtney's stocking stuffers, you have to be registered as an insider to win. And that announcement's coming up very, very soon. Yes, right? next week for sure. I think it's Thursday. Is that right? Cat, it's next Thursday. Our 12 days will be up, but we're so excited. We are going to do this all over again tomorrow. We'll send it over for the news at four with Keith and Lauren. Hey guys.